Okay, let's get this fire started. I'm starting off by getting the dead wood from the last cook, pushing it all to the corner. From here I'll put a fire lighter or two in. And these burnt out pieces of wood will become coals that I'll use to start the fire. Before long, it's roaring. Okay, let's prep this chicken. We'll start off by taking some poultry shears and we'll cut out the backbone. Flip the bird over and press down on the center of the chest to flatten out the wishbone. Here, I'll dry it and put a little bit of olive oil on it to stick the spices onto it. I'm going very simply today with just salt and pepper white pepper I'll arrange the chicken into the rotisserie basket and now that the fire is nice and in control I'll load up the basket Just spin and wait. So I got a little bit impatient with the cooking and I closed the lid to get the heat in there. And as I trapped it, uh, I put another piece of wine barrel oak in there to smoke it off a bit. After 40 minutes, we can see that it is really close to being done. And around about the hour mark, I took it off. Very fragrant very smoky but simple it's still smoky and still juicy bit of white wine for this chicken let's taste that it's pretty dang good it's got that smoky texture, the smoky flavor, juicy texture, very, very good. I think this needs 
a little sip of wine. Now the thing about this particular dish oh, is, it is that the baby loves it and with smoked foods as smoky as they are at the time you leave them in the fridge overnight the smoke somehow intensifies so you put this in sandwiches for the next couple of days and you've got the whole staff room at your workplace saying what is that and it's just a lovely fragrant spatchcock chicken.